Governments in the poorest countries often don't have enough resources to provide services to all their citizens. So aid is a valuable and vital resource to improve people's lives, but it's not always enough on its own. Sister Florence Mwemba from Mazabuka, Zambia, is in charge of Nakambala Clinic, treating up to 250 patients per day. The clinic receives vital aid donations, but does not receive enough government funding to meet healthcare needs in the region. There is a long-term solution. If poor countries could increase the finance they raise themselves through tax, they can help their citizens long-term. But right now, poor countries are losing money because of massive tax dodging, helped by tax havens around the world. In fact, 98 out of 100 of the largest companies in the UK have registered subsidiaries in tax havens. Poor countries lose three times more to tax havens than they receive in aid every year. The irony is, multinationals dodging tax are often from the same rich countries that are providing the aid. The UK and other G20 governments need to take action to tackle tax dodging. For Florence, if the Zambian government could provide extra funding, her clinic would have more trained staff and more vaccines in stock. We're already seeing some poor countries making real progress in strengthening their tax systems. But we still have a long journey ahead and aid is a vital resource to help poor countries pave the way. With aid and tax justice, poor countries are in a stronger position to tackle poverty and inequality. Governments, take action. Keep your promise on aid and support tax justice.